Welcome back, guys, to Pokemon Legends Arceus, where, under our rhubarb sky, we continue onwards towards Lake Valor here in the Crimson Mylands. However, before we step in, I have found some more things across the world and have, in fact, marked them across the map for me to find not only wisps that are denoted by stars, but also some other things for us to read, if you get what I mean, have I been looking for? I still have not found a cherry or Tarubi or anything, so we're going to pray to hope to find that in the future. But before we get a late Valor for the trial, let me pick up a few of these. And then deal with another important thing. As we have four Wisps remaining in this area, there is a certain Pokemon we can evolve, because I have this now. Which, uh, is not working on Sneasel. I thought that's what did it! Why can I not evolve Sneasel? Ah! I thought that was it! I didn't even check to see if it was evolution or not! I've got the wrong item! Which I have already got wrong! I'm so confused! I thought that was what I was after! Well... Strike that from your memory. That I am a fool. Wait, what the hell am I looking for? I got that directly from... A Sneasel! I thought that was it! Maybe I've got to be in a certain place or something. I don't even know now. There are three wisps remaining in this area. Let's continue on finding wisps. What extra secret criteria do I have to fulfill? What is going on? Am I not the right level for it? I'm pretty sure I'm the right level for it. Don't make me feel insane now, game. Is that not it? What am I missing? Do I have to have a certain move on? Oh, God. Why can I not evolve this buddy? That is the question. I thought I got it, and I didn't even check. Why am I a fool? Maybe it's got to be a higher level. I don't know. Let's continue. Oh, that's a Mercury down there. There's another wish for me to get, but I'm kind of interested in catching that thing. I have not caught one of those yet, or seen one of them, so let's... uh. Go over here first. Pick this up. I thought that would be it. I got it deliberately from the Sneasel itself. I thought that would be it's the solving of all my issues. Obviously not. Alright, let's get close to this, buddy, and try to catch it. I have, of course, made a few more balls, so I have 25 jet balls now. For example, it's facing the wrong way right now, so I may as well just throw a jet ball at the back of his head. There we go! Hodgecrow, not Mercrow! <laughs> I know it's family line. Well, I can at least evolve Bergmite. So let's do it. We got to have a lug. So, an have a lug call added to the decks. Honch grows added to the decks. Number we've evolved with Bergmite is one now. So, we're a bit more dex entry. Though, I don't think I have any issue with their dex entry in particular. And we keep on keeping on around everywhere. Did I get this one? Confusion. Interestingly, we're seeing no shaky trees anywhere again. So that's kind of crazy. There's one of those combis with their two eyes. Definitely no more than two eyes. Oh, no, I know where this one is. Let's grab this. For one more of our special stops, leaving one more wisp. Come on, have a look. No mystical cherim. Not mystical. Mythical. Everyone talks about it as lies. Lies! 
At least this guy just requires to be leveled up. Nothing more, nothing less. I like that guy. I like that guy a lot. So onwards to our next destination. We've only got a few more collectibles to get. Oh, we step into Lake Vela. Never know, maybe we'll find another Pokemon to catch along the way. We've already caught an L for you. I had a Razor Claw. I thought that was what I needed. It dropped from Sneasel. Why is it no like me, though? Let's dodge that kiss from Achillea. And obtain old verse 2. Would you like to read it? Yes, let's read it indeed. Oh, you who at the world's far off end well, I know your wish. It is my wish as well. My own beloved is now gone from me, departed to a place I cannot reach. My old companions have left me behind. Their faces faded into days gone by. Still to my breast, I clutch this hopeless dream. A beautiful wish for us once more to meet. Oh, you who at the world's far off end well, I know your wish. It is my wish as well. But ours are cold and endless winter days, warmed only by memories locked away. Love how I read this stuff and I'm just like cool with it, you know? Seems a bit weird for me to be so okay with reading like end, end what's it talking about? End days and stuff? Oh, just disappeared. I was actually surprised you just disappeared. I take it there is another criteria then for me to get this razor claw thing to work. I want to get it working. Why? Why can I not evolve Sneasler? Why am I not allowed? Well, Lake Valor's here. Should we actually drop by Lake Valor for our next test and trial? Before we get the remaining goodies on display. There's only two more after all. Or will this sweep me forward to the end time? Oh, no, wait, 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 yeah. Good thought. That will sweep me forward to the end times. No, 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 no. I'm not coming to, to, to you. That's an alpha bloke. Ow. Because once I do that quest, it's going to go, do you want to leave? And it's probably just going to make me leave. Because there ain't another way things work. Let's not let me pull me pull it out of there. As we get the final wisp in the area. I see a shaky tree. Are you ready for the mythical beast to randomly appear now? Who's betting a bag, bro? Not my bag, bro, that's for sure. Bear me. Have a look. Use your ice shell attack. Wasn't very effective, but it'll do enough damage. Well, if Burmy wasn't actually already near complete anyway, it surely is nil. So our last item, our last goodie is down here. It's a mythical Burmy, yeah. Just remember, guys. Cherims and or Chirubis. They're just not real. And anyone who says there is... Is lying. That's an Alpha Togepi! No, Togepi! Why do you hate me? Is it running away or coming at me? I think it's coming at me. Definitely coming at me. Right, our destination for our item is actually here. But uh, I think we will catch the Alpha Togepi too. It was near within this field of flowers to the point where I should be able to just walk up to rock up to it and throw a gig tumble. I was really going to turn around then, wasn't it? 
Uh, take an alpha togepi. Maybe one day we'll evolve it into Ladius. Or maybe Ladios. Baby. And there is our scoping of the Crimson Islands done. Old verse 13. Would you like to read it now? Yes, I shall. Sootfoot, humble root, harvest it and peel it. Broiled, baked or steam will do, just let nobody steal it. Mash the root, then knead the mash, then once more heat it over. Grill it till only till it browns. Use ember, not flamethrower. Now hearken well, listen closely. The wise adore potato mochi. A day spent eating all in reach is no day wasted, if you ask me. Sure. We just got the ancient recipe from the old times. There's more, there's more people lying in chat about finding germs and stuff. I'm not sure I'm good with this blatant propaganda. Alright, let's do one small quick sweep. But also, maybe pick myself up a turtwig while I'm at it. Oh, it hits the ground. I threw it on the ground! There we go. Catching the two again, bad idea. And then we're off to Lake Valor. Lake Valor, here we come. Ish. After more disappointment, of course. Not a chair, and we can just simply run away. Or Cherubi. To be honest, it doesn't really matter which one I get. If it's the lower form, and I can evolve it into the higher form, that's completely fine. Just having one. That's all the man dreams of, you know? But it seems like my overall luck for just getting shaky trees. Just isn't actually that high. You see quite a few trees with berries on them and stuff. But do they shake? The answer to that is very much in the negative. So let's get to Lake Vela stat. Because... Let's just admit, it's a myth. It is not real. Despite the many reports that you may have heard from others, it's just not real. See? It's just not real real. I've wasted enough of your time. Lake Valor, here we come. Because we know it's not a waste of time to get our collectibles. There must be a reward at the end of 107 Wisps. Who knows if there's a reward at the end of the verses. Now, why could I not evolve Sneasel? I do wonder. Do you know about Lake Valor? said to have been formed by a volcanic eruption, much like Lake Verity. Though there are also theories that say it was carved out in the midst of a Pokemon battle. This lake is protected by the Pokemon Azelf. When Azelf took flight, the will to do what needs doing was born in people's hearts, so that is what legend would have us believe. Your arc phone is beeping. Oh, a cave appears where there was none, as if just for Olazandria. In we go, Olazandria. I imagine a strong Pokemon could wade inside, protecting the Pokemon on the lake. Take care. I imagine they could be in there. They have been in the other two, after all, Volo. Thanks for pointing out the obvious. Maybe there isn't one this time. Let's see what we're up against. Ah, Overquill. 
Menacing Pokemon waits before you. Watch it, Alexandria. I've heard about this one from my grandfather. Those quills, they're venomous. I think I've got just the Pokemon to deal with it. Sneasel, gotta work. You're not Sneasler, sadly, but still. <laughs> Fishimi? Sashimi? <laughs> Sneasel's just like, I'm just a baby Pokemon. Why do you throw me out against this madman? All right, close combat is not super effective. I thought it would be super duper effective. Over course, I thought it was dark poison. Fighting super effective against dark. I didn't realize that poison actually nullified that weakness. Whoops. Bad me. So now how do I go about doing things? Knowing that this will lower my defensive stats. Ain't that the thought. So, you can boost the power of the defensive slash etc. Let's go calm mine. Yes, you might be thinking, what the hell's going on? Olives has used a stat move. What's wrong with this guy? Well, you see, my plan is to just get double edged and. Weaken it via its overquill. Loved using double recoil. And then close combat! Solid plan! Oh, I could have caught it, but I've got one, so that's all we <laughs> Solid plan. That's my Olazandria. You feel a mysterious presence. Hey, what test are you gonna shame me for this time? Show to me unyielding will. Strike me if you can. Wait, what? Oh. Now that's more interesting. Did those bombs just appear out of nowhere? I guess you meant to throw them at Azelf. <laughs> Is this just Azelf wanting food? I can gorge as much as I like if he's trying to throw it at me. Okay, what are you doing? <laughs> I was wondering if I could get behind you. I'm trying to hit you. You seem to hear a voice inside your head. Will you abandon this folly? No, no, I'm not through yet. It says don't give up. Maybe I can... No, even in their direction. It... I was wondering if I could loop it so they thought it wasn't going to Maybe I have to be really sneaky. It seems you had best give up. Will you continue regardless? No, oh, you said you wanted a test of willpower, right? I can go at this all day, you know. <laughs> that not close enough. How much PP of teleport do you have, essentially? Gotta think about this. We're running the PP down. It'd be like nine at this point. Give up. You struggle in vain. Would you yet press on? Why would I not? We actually are still throwing you. <laughs> Bonk. Take this piece of the spirit to buy in the world once more. Azelf's Fang. Proof that you have completed the trial set by Azelf, the being of willpower that lives in Lake Valor. This item is needed to forge the red chain. <laughs> Looks like our lake journey's complete. Indeed it does. Well then, let us leave. 
nothing else in here for me to grab, right? Yet, he says. Yet. It seems we finished the Free Lake Trials. If I remember correctly, we were told to then head for the Shrouded Ruins. I don't know what could await us there, but I'm always excited to explore some ancient ruins. Let us be on our way. Did I get zooped? Hey! Oh, oh, no, we're here in these ancient ruins. Different ancient ruins. But we did get zooped. The Shrouded Ruins. This is so very good at obscuring things. It's long been said to blur boundaries. If we're to somehow bring together the world of humans, the world of Pokemon, and the world of myth, then maybe we need a setting such as this. That being said, what are we meant to do now? Seems I've made it in time. Showing up only when the time's right, huh? With age comes wisdom, I guess. I had the aid of a rather remarkable Pokemon, if you really wish to know. Right, but how do we make this red chain? I would hardly know. We speak of a divine instrument, one said to be capable of binding the very world. Do you really imagine it could be forged by mortal hands? Then what are we doing here? We don't have any more time to waste. Ah, the Pokemon of the lakes. We have received the red chain. If I pick it up and that goes around me, do I get bound? To only activate when on the thing it needs to bind? That would be unfortunate. <laughs> so it was true. The pact our people have passed down for all these generations has been kept. At last, I can set this burden aside. I succeeded once again, Alexandria. Yet things do not seem to be going so well for the rest of the world. What's that supposed to mean? I've had some news from my fellow merchants in the Ginkgo Guild. It seems that the commander is going to forego waiting for our investigation to finish. He plans to climb Mount Coronet himself. What's he thinking? Even if he makes it up there, what can he do against a giant rift in space-time? Well, he doesn't yet know that our Alessandria has managed to get the red chain. Now, does he? That's right. We've got to let him know that he'll be alright now that we have the red chain, that we don't know what does. Do the thing? What? Even the commander should see reason then and call off this foolhardy plan of his. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we'll definitely call it off. Huh? Wait, Alexandria, it's you. I can't believe I just let you pass right by. Thank goodness you're still alive. I mean, of course you are. I knew you'd be alright. Wait one second. I'll go let the captain and the professor know you're back. Oh, my dear Alessandria. Professor, I know you've been worried about Alessandria, but there's no need to cry. Uh, I'm not not crying. Do not mock your elders, if you please, Ray. <laughs> And besides, weren't you the one who couldn't get a wink of sleep from all your worrying over our friend? You, you didn't have to tell her that. Just ignore him, Alessandria. Anyway, where's Captain Silene? Wasn't she coming with you, Professor? She's buried under a mound of work, I'm afraid. We're to join her in the Survey Corps office. Seems her hands are more than full now that Commander Kamado's gone. He's already left. Well, he set out for Mount Coronet with the security corps in tow. He's determined to handle this whole space-time rift business himself, including dealing with the Pokemon that's been spotted on the other side. And since I'm such a fine fellow, I took over watching the gate for the security call, folks. Well, we aren't getting anywhere out of here. Let's head inside and report to the captain. Sure. And we're no longer banished as long as he's gone himself, I guess. 
So you've managed not to die, just as I ordered. Well done. Thanks to you, Captain, for the orders. I have no idea what you're implying. All I know is that Abra vanished of its own accord, inconveniencing me greatly. Aha. Uh -huh. Before moving forward, I must ask. I assume that you were here again because you've managed to learn something of use. I got this red chain thing. Go on. That's literally all I know. <laughs> but there was late guardians and some other stuff. But I've got this chain now. I should be able to bind the world. Sounds great. If that was my explanation, it's a terrible explanation. Legendary tool said to bind the very world. So that doesn't even sound good. Commander Kamado is no longer here in Jubilee Village. The security corps has been scouting the area near the space-time rift, and they reported sightings of something on the other side of it. Something that resembled a Pokemon. The commander made the decision to take the security corps to the mountain so as to prepare to fend off any possible threat. They were to make for the temple at the peak. The boss may be tough, but it still seems like a bad idea to do something so risky about Alessandria's help. As the captain of the survey corps, I hereby allow you, or order you, to proceed as follows. Alessandria, take that red chain to Mount Coronet, make your way to the peak, and put an end to all of this. You are officially reinstated at your former rank. Why, right, thank you. It's nice of you. Are you sure, Captain? The boss isn't around to approve that. If he didn't wish me to decide things in his place, then he should not have left me in charge here. Then I'll go as well. We're all in this together. We members of the, of the Survey Corps. Naturally, no one suggested you should not. I really like her. She's been decisive. She's figuring some things out. Where's Lavington? I've got some Pokedex here. Probably not many points on it, but we've got some Pokedex, so I guess that's all that really matters, right? Some news all's maxed out. A sturdy curved claws are ideal for traversing precipitous cliffs. From the tips of these claws drips a venom that infiltrates the nerves of any prey caught in Sneasel's grasp. Now, can I infer from that or work out anything? What I've had, what I have to do extra here? Maybe I've got to use slash on it more. I don't even know. What? I want to evolve one. Let me do it. Why won't you let me evolve you? Turbo actually got to level eight randomly, just from catching the second one. Bergmite's at ten, of course. Zolorak is three. Avalok is four. I'm not going to get that many points towards rank nine. The other question is, I was about to say, is there new requests now? Not that we're actually going to do any new requests right now. Wait, there's one that involves... I mean, I'm curious. Something the matter, Lucario? Who's this bloke, then? I'm Rai. Thank you for explaining. And you are? Okay, you're Alessandria. Nice to meet you. What is it, Lucario? Seems Lucario has sensed your strong aura too. If you're willing to battle us, could you come to the training grounds? Steely Lucario, request 88. Well, I guess we can do one request. <laughs> Wait a second. Isn't... Isn't Typhlosion Hiswin form, like, a super hard counter? You said you wanted me to come to the training grounds. I have arrived. Maybe I can't do the quest because of what's going on currently. Let's battle Lucario at the training grounds. Oh, you're over around there. I think you're ready for our battle. I am ready. Well then, let's forego the small talk and proceed right to battle. That's our style. It's like, like level 100 and it's going to beat the crap out of me. <laughs> Sneasel 
So I was at level 62, so it's not far from my level. So it being fighting steel, of course, but me being fire ghost. Doesn't that, like, completely screw the opponent here? I mean, I'm sure there must be some other ways around this. But I think a strong style flamethrower will do. Good job. Oof. That was a wonderful battle. Seems we need to redo our training, Lucario. Thank you for the experience. I can tell you've met many Pokemon, and that's helped make you stronger. I think we'll test our skills in other places from now on. Let's meet again. Press 88. Done in the blink of an eye. We find request. We complete request. Such is the circle of life. I have also caught another Pokemon that was an alpha between sessions, by the way. I should probably check out that person over there. So I'm just going to switch him in before Adamant tries to drag me into anything as we head out towards Mount Coronet. Because I've got a lovely little rufflet. Alpha form. That we can kind of evolve up to another super duper mon, can't we? So now we've got Avalog sorted. I've just got to find the little Rowlet now. Where's that ended up in my bag? I've tried to sort out some more stuff and, and let some people go. But level 65 Rufflet to add you to the party it should just evolve, hopefully. But we don't need two... See, here's the thing. We don't need two flying types. So if we're having Rufflet, I should probably take out Star Raptor. Who should I put in, in place of Star Raptor, really? That's strong enough to really go with me here and sort things out. Ain't that the question? Who to take on an adventure? But yeah, I tried to sort my boxes a little more. I've got a few extra mons here, then everywhere. In fact, I've got like two Umbreons now. I could even take like that Alpha Zordark. But I've already got a ghost Pokemon, so I can't do that. It's against the rules. Don't you understand? I do declare. See, I have no clue who to take instead if I want a different flying type. I just need something with some strength to it. A bit of brunt. Because we're obviously, like, facing the end. So the stronger Pokemon I can get, the better. I mean, Overquill does kind of double up on poison a little bit. I guess I'll just leave Avalug in then. And we'll just switch Rufflet in for now. I'm sure we'll be able to sort out later who would be a good extra mon. I also wish there was some kind of sort. So let's evolve. bird. Rufflet evolves into Braviary. And, of course, is an alpha. That's the the bad thing about Avalok not being an alpha and all. And it's level 65, so it's roughly good for the region we're at. We're obviously going to have to feed it some stuff to level it up a little bit more at this point. But still. And we've evolved one. 